gonna paint the whole thing orange, okay? Very nice. All right, how's it going everybody? You propped those up, I didn't realize you propped those up. So today, it's a little bit of a windy day. Uh, we wanna launch some rockets, but it's kind of windy for the rockets with parachutes, especially for the bigger ones. So a couple of our newer builds that we did, these are recovery is featherweight, which means there's no parachute because they're lightweight rockets. The engine just ejects them and then they tumble back down. So it's like a tumble recovery. So two rockets we built, the orange bullet, his little sister helped me paint that one. And I think that's a pretty cool little rocket. Recommended engines are an A83 or half A6-2, which we went ahead and put an A83 in the orange bullet. And then the other one that little guy helped me paint is a Space Corps Lunar Scout. It's pretty much all cardstock material. So it was kind of actually a little bit of a difficult build and we decided to brush paint everything. Your sister helped me paint the orange one, which turned out really good. She gets a little heavy with the paint, so I just helped her smooth it out. We already put our AA3 engine in there and our plug and our igniter. We bend little hoops on there so that you have a little bit better contact with controller clips so the Lunar Scout's pretty cool we'll see how that one goes that guy flies on an A10-0T engine which we didn't have those but it says you can also use an A10-3T which is just a little longer delay so it's a little windy today we'll fly those I actually like the way that that looks it's pretty cool it was all cardstock uh, the ring was a little bit deformed in the package so they had spent a little bit of time around the cup just kind of like massaging it straight and what we painted these with, with brush paint, is we've been using the Revell Aqua Color paints. So the orange bullet is painted with the gloss Aqua Color. Gloss does not cover as well, it's a little bit thin, but I found that they're flat colors. You see a lot of our rockets are actually painted with flat colors. We have, uh, I don't know, that's their light blue. That was a flat color. So it covers really nice on the body. And then the gloss red had a hard time covering, but we did a couple coats and it looks pretty good. And then you'll see on some of our rockets, there's a little bit of a shimmer. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see on the video. We use this dragon fin glaze kind of to give us a gloss and it helps the decals stick. And then when everything's done, we protect all the decals with Mod Podge. Real easy way of doing things. So. That guy's got the AA3, boom. And then this guy has an A10-3T in it. And when your sister wakes up from her nap, we will launch these two rockets. This one was super easy. The orange bullet, you just take some white glue and you put it together and follow the instructions. It wasn't too bad. It's a pretty cool rocket for like, just like a simple. Yeah, and there's no parachutes, so hopefully we won't lose them in the wind. So. I don't think we will. I think they're going to go up and then come down. Like we built a couple of the teeny tiny, like the Luna bugs. We had a hard time finding those again. I think we lost a couple, but we'll see. Hopefully these rockets are a little bit bigger so we won't lose them today. We're probably going to fly some kites and fly some balsa gliders around the field too, just because it's so windy. All right. What do you think? Once your sister wakes up, we'll go out. This one actually Well, we could get a little crazy and make a booster someday, but I don't know. Whatever. I kind of like these the way they are. They were kind of fun little builds and they're not too expensive. Nice little challenging. I think if you were just getting in the hobby, this one would be a pretty easy one to build. This one's a little bit more challenging just because we built the whole thing first and then painted it afterwards. It's kind of hard for dad to get his fingers in there and smooth the glue out. So I use little applicators and stuff. All right, ready to fly? All right, so a little girl woke up from her nap and we loaded up our little rockets, our Space Corps rocket. Uh, what is it, the Lunar Scout, right? Yeah, so that guy's loaded up. And then after that, we're going to do the Orange Bullet. A Little bit of a windy day for parachute rockets, but we will go ahead and launch these recovery, these tumble recovery rockets. So there's no parachute, 
So, we're going to have to use our laser eyes to watch them, right buddy? Like, like laser, laser eyes. eyes. Sooner Scout is loaded up. Then we're going to do the orange bullet. Little girl's over there, she's probably going to want to be on the recovery team. So we'll get our launch controller set up and we'll fly. All right, Space Corps Lunar Scout. It's a brand new build. Little guy's getting the key. Do you have light? We have light. Launch pad is clear. Count it down, buddy. Five, four, six, two, one, blast off. Whoa! <laughs> There it is! Wow, that was a pretty cool flyer, man. That was neat. I don't know if that's what it was supposed to do, but I guess the front tube's open, so... That was cool. I like it. All right, let's do the orange bullet. Here we go. The Estes orange bullet. Dad's walking back. Key is in. You got a light, partner? All right, launch pad is clear. Count it down. I have no idea. We'll have to look around for it. We'll see if we can find it. All right, we think we spotted it. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah, that's the rocket you painted, little girl. We found it. There it is. Everything looks like it's all there. That was still a hard one to find, but we did it. Cool. Awesome. That was good launch time. A little windy for the balsa gliders. They fly better in the backyard with no wind. Nice, you guys want to fly some kites? Oh, that's a good flyer. Yeah. Delta up into the sky. It's my premier cuts. It's the rainbow orbit. It's smaller, so it needs a little more wind. But it's not something she has to fight a whole lot, and she enjoys it. Awesome job. guy's got the 52 inch Delta by Sky Dog Kites. A little easier to keep up. I'm gonna get the big one. And this one is our 72 inch Phoenix. I slowly let it up.
a fun little girl? Yeah, it's fighting. It's a little bigger one, so it takes a while.